Hey there guys, welcome to Baseline Beatnik. I'm Brandy and today I'm going to be reviewing American Sniper. So the first thing that I want to say before I even start reviewing the movie is I'm not going to talk about any of the political ramifications or commentary about um, Chris Kyle and the things that are surrounding that aspect of it. I'm just going to talk about the movie in and of itself. Secondly, I just want to say thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and being so great. You're awesome. So like I said, I'm going to be reviewing American Sniper today and that's starring Sienna Miller and Bradley Cooper. Those are the two main stars and it's directed by Clint Eastwood. First off, Bradley Cooper is a force to be reckoned with in all of the things that I've seen him in. His performances are top notch and in this he is no letdown at all. His accent was fantastic. He sound, I'm from Texas, so he sounds like so many of my friends, so it's kind of awesome to hear that. Um, that other aspects of it, the intensity and all the times that he is focusing on shooting someone and or sniping them because he does play a sniper. Um, some of the things are a little bit far-fetched. Two miles away to, to catch the other guy, I like... Maybe it isn't far-fetched. I know that they have that on record of people doing stuff like that, but it seems so just ludicrous. So that part was a little bit crazy, but awesome. The other guy playing the sniper was awesome. He was really, really, really great. He barely even had any lines, but he had this, this cool calmness and collected and this confidence that was just seeping through his pores, which ultimately in the end got him, you know. Um, well, everyone knows this. It, I guess I should say spoiler because that kind of tells you a little bit, but he's really crazy, crazy good. Um, Sammy Sheik is his name. Um, yeah, the other guy that plays the butcher, huh. That scene where he has the kid, and I'm not gonna tell you what he does, but oh my goodness, I can't. I was just like, ugh, that just freaking me out. Really, really freaking me out. And the guy who plays the butcher, his name is Mito Hamada. I hope I'm saying that right, because I tried to look up um, pronunciation, but I didn't see anything about it. So hopefully it's very straightforward and it's just exactly as it is. Yeah. Let's talk about Sienna Miller. I think that she's great, and actually she was almost recognizable, unrecognizable to me because she had brown hair in this as opposed to her normal blonde, which, and she looks great as always, but although I think she did a really great job with the material that was presented her, I do think that that character was a little bit two-dimensional, just in general. The only times that you hear from her is when she's complaining about something or whatever, and I get it, because I think it's supposed to be from Chris Kyle's perspective, but they never make it really, really clear. So if that's all that he's seeing, if those are the only times that he has any reactions with her or interactions with her, then for her to be that way, I can understand that because being in um, a military relationship is really hard. Them being gone for six, nine years at a time, that's really difficult and very stressful in a relationship. Um, I've had friends with kids in that situation and it's just not, it's really not fun. It's like being a single parent but having to worry about not only you but if your husband or significant other is out there in danger. So it's like this added stress and so of course that surmounts and I think that she did a great job in portraying that but, and their, their chemistry was great and all of that, it just, Something was missing from her character, and that's from a story perspective. It's not from her performance. It's just from the story perspective. I've seen Clint Eastwood write these really incredible characters for women. I mean, look at Million Dollar Baby. That was fantastic, and he was in that, and he was amazing, and that was just, just awesome. I really, really loved that in all manner of speaking and Clint Eastwood I really respect him as an actor and a director as well I think that he produces good things and he also has a tendency to to do topical things like he talked about racism and Gran Torino and then he talked about um, gender in, gender inequality and um in Million Dollar Baby and then and in this he's talking about the military and 
how it can really mess with your mind on a, a lot of different levels with the PTSD and a lot of emotional traumas that go along with that. But like I said, I'm not really going to get into the political aspects of things, but I just think it's interesting the the things that drive him as a, a human definitely come across in his work. And not all directors are that way, I don't think. At least I don't I don't see it. Some of the, the Wachowskis, I, I do see it. But um, some of their, their new movie is not getting really good reviews, Jupiter Ascending. So we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see it. But because I, I, I really had high hopes for them. Oh, well. So back to American Sniper. Um, all in all, I think it was a really good movie. Uh, Bradley Cooper's accent was spot on. Stanley Miller, uh, all the performances. Let's just say this. All the performances are top notch. The story is a little bit lacking and its directionality, I don't think that it has, I think it's supposed to be from Chris Kyle's perspective, and in a lot of ways it is, but it's missing the oomph of it. Like, it doesn't have him journaling or talking to the, the audience in any sort of way or anything like that, so I do think that that's a little bit weird, but otherwise, I think the movie's great, and I think you should definitely see it just for Bradley Cooper's performance. It's really intense. I mean, the looks that he says so much without saying anything. And I think that's the most impressive to me as an actor because anybody can say lines. I mean, they, they tell you kind of how to feel in a certain respect. And if you don't put anything underneath them, then it means nothing. And he puts so much underneath them. And I think that's super, super cool. So Bradley Cooper, thumbs up. You're awesome. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing and I love you even more if you subscribe because that's also really, really cool. You guys have a good one. Take care of yourself. Take some emergency or something so you don't get sick like me. Yep.